Hi everyone, I want to share my carrot cake recipe with you. It is so good. I really hope you enjoy it. So stick around. Let's go to the steps. Before I go any further, just want to say it like I have in previous videos, make sure your cold ingredients are at room temperature already. So you've taken them out of the fridge and just let them sit on the counter for a little while. This just helps everything to mix better so you have a nice beautiful batter so for me guys as far as spices go i do not like a carrot cake that is overpoweringly spiced so i just delicately flavor the uh, cake with enough spices if you want to add more by all means go ahead but i do not like too much in the cake Of course, I like to use my brown sugar because that just adds even more moisture to your cake. I just prefer to use canola oil because it's not very strong it has a neutral flavor so I do prefer to use it when I'm making my baked goods So next we're going to be adding the carrots. I used the finer part of the grater. You can use um, like a mixture, like some of it fine and then some of it like the bigger shred just to have more texture if that's what you like. But I find that just using the fine um, section on the grater for everything, that works great too. So the carrots can cook thoroughly within the time that you have it in the oven. So because I want the layer cake effect, I am using two layer cake tins. So each of them, I cut out a parchment paper circle and greased it. You don't have to do this. You can use just butter and flour or nonstick spray if you're using nonstick pans. So even though I'm giving you a recommended baking time, once it gets to about 30, 32 minutes, check those cakes with a wooden skewer or toothpick. If it comes out clean, no crumbs, no wet crumbs on the toothpick, that means the cake is done. So take it out of the oven. 
so of course I did my cream cheese frosting and decorated my cake I will leave some video links in the description on how I make the frosting and how I decorate a cake with uh, cream cheese frosting I just sprinkled some toasted coconut on top um, and around the cake you can use nuts as well if there's nobody at home with a nut allergy that really goes well with carrot cake or you can just leave the plain frosting on it it's really nice and moist you can see that right there really really good even after a few days it'll still be moist uh, so check out those video links in the description below so that you can decorate your cake nicely I really hope you enjoyed the video and please let me know in the comments if you have any questions and uh, check out the other videos so you can decorate your cake. See you next time.